Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to give you the first video in a series where I will break down literally everything that works for me when it comes to oil painting, especially if you're on a budget. So let's get started. Since I don't mention this elsewhere in the video, I use um, glass from a picture frame as a paint palette. I try to wash it after use, but if I forget, I use an oven cleaner to scrape the paint off. So starting off with paint. Since we're on a budget, we're going to be as practical as possible with paint. You can always add more colors later on. The palette I will be showing you includes four paints with an additional color for personal preference. So first is titanium white or zinc white to lighten the colors. Um, it's self-explanatory and this is definitely essential. Cadmium red or cad red light. Honestly, any red tone works. I started off painting with, I think it's called crimson alizarin, um, I think, and it worked out perfectly fine for all of my paintings. Um, cad red is good though because it is pretty much right in the middle. It's not too cool toned or warm toned and it's a nice bright color. Lemon yellow or cadmium yellow or cad yellow hue. So cadmium yellow is actually a very expensive pigment. pigment. So you might see like hue at the end of the color name. Um, I'm not sure too much about the chemical differences, but basically one is from minerals and one is lab created. So you can see that next to this lemon yellow, it, it has a more sheer finish. It works just fine. You might need a higher ratio to other colors, so keep that in mind. The final true essential color, in my opinion, is blue, ultramarine, phthalo, I think it's called, or Prussian blue. Um, again, it depends on your preference and your palette. Um, Prussian is more cool toned and muted blue. Ultramarine is a vibrant, bright blue, a little bit more warm tone, and phthalo is a kind of a deeper, more royal blue. Um, and all of them work just fine, so just pick one and move on. Black. The last one is not super necessary to everyone, just because you can get almost perfect black shade by mixing the primary colors in the correct proportions, but I reach for the black constantly, especially in portrait painting. It, it really simplifies things for me. Um, some people say black isn't in nature, so don't use it or whatever, but I say stop telling people what to do when it comes to art, which I also realize is telling someone what to do, but get black if you want it. I use it a lot. So brushes. This one is simple in my mind. If you're starting out, use cheap brushes. I still use cheap brushes exclusively. All of my brushes I've bought in packs from Artist Loft. Um, I have maybe four Princeton brushes from a pack, which were also cheap, and that's pretty much it. My favorite brush is this one from the Artist Loft detail brush set. Um, it's the smallest one. I use this brush for all my portraits. I love these Princeton ones because they're really soft, but I already ruined them, so another reason to buy cheap brushes <laughs> if you're a mess like me. And then I bought this pack of 15 detail brushes from Amazon for, I think, $9. They aren't the best, but they saved me from having to leave my house. And you can always use your fingers and things like nails and the ends of a brush to make these different designs. Moral of the story, start cheap, and if you really want to, you can graduate from the cheaper ones eventually. I still haven't, and I probably won't for a while. <laughs> So medium, since this is a budget video, I'm going to be super honest with you. I have one medium, I've only ever used one medium, and it's Gamsol. It cleans brushes, cleans my palette, thins the paint, and it dries super quickly so I can layer, you know, all the merry day. I also use it to glaze my paintings to color correct once they dry. You just mix a tiny bit of paint with however much Gamsol you want, but don't wash Gamsol down the sink. Even though it's odorless and safer than pure turpentine, you should never wash mediums down the sink especially if you drink well water because the medium can get into the water systems and it's not safe it's really unsafe so just dump the extra gamsol out into the trash the other stuff in there will absorb it and then wipe the jar down with a paper towel and um, keep the jar just for gamsol use i use these old yogurt jars for my medium so this other than oil paint seems to be where people think they have to spend a ton of money um, spoiler alert, it's not true. So here are the ones I use. These Artists Loft wooden panels, which were four for, I think, seven to ten dollars. Um, dollar store canvases, which are a dollar. This Canson XL watercolor paper pack. It comes with 30 paper sheets, and I've had it for a very long time, and I'm still using it. You can also use oil paper, um, but I haven't run out of the watercolor one yet. Um, Goodwill canvases. And you can always work up to bigger canvases and make that investment later. Don't worry about spending so much on surfaces now. Just use paper, my guy. I prep my surfaces is very easy. I don't use gesso because it's expensive 
Um, instead, I literally just buy the cheapest acrylic paint because, in my opinion, it has an identical texture to gesso. That, or with gray craft paint, literally. You don't need to overcomplicate this stuff. Um, just be creative. So these are just some stuff I find myself reaching for. So paper towels or an old rag or something to wipe the brushes. Jars for your medium. Graphite to sketch out the paintings. Um, if it smudges, you can also get a spray fixative. I found one in my parents' basement. Not necessary, but it does help. Satin Gloss um, by Gamblin. I can't give many other opinions since this is the first and only one I've bought. The varnish is really fun to do. It'll preserve your painting. It'll make the colors more vibrant. And I'm able to put it on once my painting is just dry instead of waiting six months. Um, also, before you varnish or anything, make sure you wipe the dust off your paintings, um, especially if it's been sitting around. Not something to worry about early on. Um, but when you get to the point of varnishing, that's the advice I can give. So yeah, I might be the cheapest artist out there, but it not only helps my wallet, but it also helps the people who pay for commissions because my, my materials cost has yet to skyrocket. Um, I'm sure it'll go up one day when I'm able to afford better quality supplies, but for now, this works. And next time I'll teach you how to mix literally any color, and I'll also share the only two tips or pieces of advice you need to make a beautiful portrait. Literally only two things. So, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye!